In today's video, we'll be discussing how to price a lane and how to offer a quote to your customer. I'm Benjamin Kowalski with Freight360, where we provide the latest transportation sales tips and training videos to help you reach your goals faster. And if you're new here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and all the details will be found in the description box. And for more free content, please be sure to add our weekly podcast, Freight360, to your playlist. Let's jump into it. Whether you're working on your first load, a new customer, a new lane, or a prospect, it's important to understand how to price a lane and quote your customer accurately. In this video, we're going to look at the basics of pricing and how to offer a quote to your customer. Those who don't know their history are doomed to repeat it. I'm sure that's not the first time you've heard that, and it's not gonna be the last. Even though there are a lot of factors that go into a rate, and those factors can constantly change, it's still one of the best ways to get a baseline for what your rate's going to be. So take a look at the previous weeks, days, and months to get an idea of where the lane you're working is trending. And then jump back a year See what that rate did this week and a different year. Because the shipping market is typically cyclical and therefore it has patterns that are somewhat predictable. For example, the fourth quarter always tends to be higher in volume due to the holidays. The day before Thanksgiving tends to look similar year over year. And the produce market that comes to harvest, that happens around the same weeks every year. And all of those things have very large effects on the supply of trucks available and the supply of available loads. Now, today's technology makes pulling this information much faster than it was years ago. Whether that's an in-house TMS system you use or tools like RateView from DAT or Sonar from FreightWaves, our recommendation is to get familiar with all of the tools at your disposal. Each one will add valuable information and context to the rate. You should also be talking with actual carriers about your loads. Post up that lane, right? And call some of the posted trucks. It's always good to get an idea of where the market is today if you had to go and cover that load right now. You know, you can ask some of the carriers, hey, I've got this lane coming up. Where would you need to be to haul this for me? And once you've got what you think you'll pay, now you need to determine the margin you'll add to the load. Now, the complexity of the load is another important factor when determining the time it will actually take to secure the capacity. For example, a one pick, one drop flatbed load of lumber requires much less work typically than a three pick, two drop temp controlled load of produce, right? The same concept applies to other sectors of the market, such as a hot shot, heavy haul, intermodal, cross border, etc. The point to remember here is that the more time you spend, the more time you need to consider billing for. The more work, the more money you should be able to charge, right? Remember, nobody controls the market. No one has that power, no matter the size of the company they work for. As brokers, we merely provide access to that market, and we charge a fair market price for our time accessing it. Now let's dig into selling your rate. Everyone, it's so easy to get caught up in the rate conversation, right? Shippers are pushing price. Everybody thinks rate's the only thing that matter. But remember the context above all else when explaining your rate to your customers. Give them the context about your rate, why that lane might be tight this day of the week, or where their shipping may be a very remote area and require you to pay additional incentives to get a really quality carrier to go in that area, right? This is going to help them understand potential price increases rather than than them simply looking at your rate and your rate alone. Now, you won't win every lane every time, so don't beat yourself up. And as your experience grows, your value add to your customers will increase. This is gonna allow you to charge higher rates and margins over time. Not every load is awarded on price alone, so make sure you understand what your customer is looking for find a need, sell the value of your services and communication over simply the rate you're going to charge. 
Now, if you'd like more on this topic, please add your thoughts or questions to the comments below. And remember, whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you're right.